Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Army has huge requirement for future main battle tanks under the FRCV or Future Ready Combat Vehicle Program. An RFI related to the procurement of 1700 FRCVs was also issued this year. The RFI has been responded by 12 OEMs. These new tanks will enter service by 2030. Recently, we have also reported that Russia has offered its latest T-14 Armata tank to India and now the reports are coming regarding the French offering. France has offered its new main battle tank Nexter Leclerc XLR. As per the French deputy Nicolas Dupont Agnon, if the French company Nexter could win the procurement of 1700 MBTs for India, French industry could relaunch production of Leclerc tanks for India and France will be able to offer a new competitive price for Leclerc tank for the Indian Army and for the export market. With T-14 Armata in the race, can Leclerc XLR be able to win the Indian contract? Is it suitable for the Indian Army's requirement? In today's video, we'll be analyzing this in details. So let's get started. The Leclerc MBT is a third generation heavy battle tank. Its architecture allows it to be revised and upgraded with latest systems to adapt to ever changing battlefield threats. This renovation will increase the MBT's operational capabilities with integration of Vetronics and secondary armament as well as the Army's new command and communication systems. The French Leclerc entered into service in 1993 and is undergoing mid-life upgrade which is called Leclerc XLR. As part of the upgrade, France is planning to integrate Scorpion system, the French Army's digital network and equipping it with SICS combat information system from ATOS and the contact radio from Thales. This will allow voice and data to be exchanged simultaneously among network subscribers, vehicles, dismounted soldiers and attack helicopters. The tank will also be able to communicate with unmanned platforms such as UAVs and robots. The tank will have enhanced protection which includes floor over armor against improvised explosive devices and side plates against RPG type threats. Finally, the armament will be upgraded with the installation of remotely operated T2B turret armed with 7.62mm caliber from Belgian partner Efren Hestel. The Leclerc is armed with 120mm smooth core gun. Its barrel is 52 calibers long instead of 44 calibers common on most battle tanks of its generation, giving the projectile a higher muzzle velocity. It features 22 rounds inside autoloader magazine with additional 18 rounds cylinder in the hull. It also features a 12.7 mm coaxial machine gun with 1100 rounds and a 7.62 machine gun with 3000 rounds. The tank is powered by 1500 horsepower engine providing it an operational range of 550 to 650 kilometers and maximum speed of 71 kilometers per hour on road and 55 kilometers per hour on all terrains. The tank has a modular composite armor SXXI version which includes titanium and semi-reactive layers. The Leclerc's side armor is superior. Newer models also feature titanium armor inserts and explosive reactor armor bricks on the side, belts of explosives that prematurely detonate incoming missiles and shells. Its engine also does not emit visible smoke reducing its infrared signature. While Leclerc is a decent tank, it faces stiff competition from T-14 Armata. T-14s are lighter and more agile compared to Leclerc. The most prominent feature in the next generation battle tank is going to be Active Protection System or APS. T-14 features an APS called Afghanet, which includes a millimeter wave radar to detect, track and intercept incoming anti-tank munitions both kinetic energy penetration and tandem charges. However, no such APS is planned for Leclerc XLR. The unmanned turret is also one of the most prominent design of T-14 tanks which is not there in Leclerc. Last but not least is the cost. 
while the per unit cost of Leclerc is $6.5 million, the cost of E14 is almost half with just $3.7 million. Further, India has history of operating the Russian tank with T-72 and T-90s in active service. The recent offer of Russia to co-develop FRCV on Aramata platform is also lucrative and can be extended to the development of future combat vehicles. Considering all these factors, it's highly unlikely that French tank will be able to compete against the Russian T-14 Armata. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.